for coming to Laurentian University, to Sudbury. And if you came to Sudbury, you drove through my beautiful writing of Nickel Bell. So welcome to Nickel Bell. I have with me, starting behind me, Michael Manta, MPP for Algoma Mine Tulin. Anybody from Algoma? Next to him is Paul Lowenberg from Sudbury, our candidate for the NDP. Hey, Paul. Also from beautiful Nickel Bell, but at the federal level, Claude Gravel. Then, the farmer became politician. A man that needs no introduction in Temiskim and Cochrane, John Ventoff. So let's get one thing straight right off the bat. Do you think that the divestment of Ontario Northland is a good idea? Shameful. It is shameful. Ontario Northland is an asset for the people of Northern Ontario. It is something that helped build prosperity. It helped the economic engine of Northern Ontario. And what is Mr. McGinty going to do to each and every one of us who wants to make Northern Ontario our homeland? Who wants to make Northern Ontario our home? He's going to sell us off. He's going to sell us off to the lowest bidder. What a shame. Shame. Mr. McGinty is right there right now. He's speaking at one o'clock to his supporter. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm a politician. I speak all the time. But there's something else that every politician should learn, is that we have to listen. I think that there's enough of us here, right here, right now, that if we all speak together, they will have no choice but to listen to us. So let's try it. Everybody can say Ontario Northland. Not I, for sale. And you say not for sale. Let's try it. Ontario Northland. For months now, people from all over Ontario have been asking Mr. McGinty to listen to them. We're not asking for anything drastic, we're asking to speak to the Premier who's supposed to represent all of us, who's supposed to represent every Ontarian no matter where you live, no matter what you do, no matter what you want. Well today, we have a golden opportunity. Mr. McGinty is here in Northern Ontario. Let's hope that through a little bit of political will and us talking united with one voice, we get Mr. McGinty to listen. What we're asking for is not extraordinary. I spend a lot of time in Toronto at Queen's Park. There's public transit there and there is Billions of taxpayers' money invested into public transit in Toronto alone, not to mention every other big urban center in the South. Why is it that when the Ontario government invests into public transit in the South, it's an investment? When the same Ontario government invests in public transit in the North, we're taking away from education, we're taking away from health care. What is this? It's an investment in Southern Ontario, and it's taking away money in Northern Ontario. That doesn't add up. Hey. This is something that Mr. McGinty has to account for. He cannot treat people in Southern Ontario different from he treats us. I thank you for being here this afternoon. I thank you for standing in the sun. If we stand united, our voice will be heard. One more time. Ontario Northland. Thank you, brothers and sisters.